For more than 1,500 years, everyone continued to use the geocentric system of the world. Even though it was imperfect, it still satisfied the whims of the church, which at that time was far more critical. But in the 16th century, Nicholas Copernicus, drawing on the works of Greek and Islamic astronomers and philosophers, as well as on astronomical observations, formulated the core principles and ideas of the heliocentric model. He wrote them down in manuscripts and first circulated them among his colleagues and friends. He stated that, All celestial bodies revolve around the sun, which is located near the center of the universe. The stars are motionless, and their apparent daily motion can be explained by Earth's rotation. Earth completes one revolution in its orbit around the sun over the course of a year. Earth's orbital motion around the sun causes the retrograde motion of the planets. The moon revolves around Earth. The distance between Earth and the sun is much smaller than the distance from Earth to the stars. He brought all of this together and justified it in detail in his major work on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres, which the world saw only after his death. Heliocentrism sparked debates, contempt, scientific scandals, and religious disputes. But Galileo's observations and Kepler's refinements of the model revealed the theory's complete accuracy and elegance. Heliocentrism inspired Isaac Newton to formulate the laws of gravitation, which became the foundation of modern physics and astronomy. Heliocentrism allowed everyone to perceive this world in a completely new way.